In 1826, Furman University was founded in Edgefield, South Carolina, as an all-men's school with a concentration in theology. The school moved to the beautiful Greenville, South Carolina in 1851, where it resided in the heart of downtown, overlooking the Reedy River. Originally, there were only two academic buildings, the primary one being Old Main, which housed the iconic bell tower. As the years went on, more and more buildings were erected, and the school became a staple in the life of Greenville residents. In 1933, students from the Greenville Women's College, which was located on the other side of town, began taking classes at Furman. And in 1938, the two colleges merged together officially. After the merging of the two schools and a rise in student enrollment after the Great Depression, Furman realized that having two separate campuses roughly a mile apart from one another was not working. The space in the downtown area was limited and they inevitably decided to move the entire campus five miles down to Poinsett Highway to Furman's current location. The school provided all new facilities, but they brought parts of the old campus to the new campus. Even to this day, you can see various plaques, signs, and memoirs of the old campus. One of the most interesting pieces of Furman's old campus is Cheerio, which was brought to the new campus in 1999 and used today as the alumni house. Cheerio uh, was actually on a farm pretty far outside of downtown Greenville uh, that probably was built started being built as early as 1806. The room we're sitting in was probably built about 1806 and other parts of the house were added later with the front part, the real fancy part, probably being added in the late 1850s just before the Civil War. Um, and it's been modernized through the years. Obviously back then it didn't have bathrooms or anything like that. But, uh, um, but the Furman family bought it in about 1850 when Furman moved to Greenville from one of their many places that Furman was. And uh, it was because it was about seven miles outside of town, President Furman actually had a house on campus where he lived during the week, and he probably just came and stayed at Cherrydale on the weekends and in the summertime. Furman didn't run 12 months a year like it does now, where the president has to be here all the time. So. Having Cherrydale on campus not only adds to the history of the university itself, but it also gives meaning to so many past, present, and future Furman students. Uh, I think it's been excellent for our alums because it actually gives them a place to call home because when you're a student, the campus belongs to you, you know, the dorms and the library and things like that. When you come back, you know, the campus still belongs to the students, even though you would like for it to be your own. So this actually gives them a place to call home uh, when they come back for homecoming and lunch on the lawn and things like that. And we use it for lots of different events. But it's been a, it was a great decision that I was not around to make to, to make it the home of the alumni office. The second oldest building on Furman's campus is the Old College. It was built in 1851 and was actually used as classrooms while Old Main was being built. When Furman moved out to the new campus in 1958, they decided to bring the Old College with it. It is located right next to the bell tower on the north end of campus. Quarter Neon, a men's honor society on campus, actually still meets in the Old College on a regular basis. As was said before, you can still see various pieces of the old campus all throughout Furman today. Right next to the bell tower and the old college, there is a stand for a bell that was once located in the ceiling of the Mary Judson Library on the Greenville Women's College campus. While walking alongside the lakeside dormitories, you see several different lampposts with plaques that either say, Class of 1922 or Class of 1920. Those both came from the Greenville Women's College and came to Furman when the campus was relocated. The most unifying piece of the old campus and the new campus is the 50th Anniversary Memorial. It was built in 2008 to commemorate the 50th anniversary of Furman relocating campuses. There is a structure in Falls Park on the edge of where the campus was once located with a plaque that tells all about how the campus once stood proudly downtown. And next to the Shy Center of Sustainability on Furman's current campus, you can see the other half of the structure with a plaque commemorating the old campus as well. Having this piece gives an eternal connection to the two campuses.
Although no buildings remain from the original campus, we can still see parts of it everywhere we go. In the words of the great Mark Twain, history doesn't repeat itself, but it does rhyme. Furman's current campus complements the history of this prestigious university, but it also is a unique rhyme of its own. Furman would not be the institution that it is today without its colorful history.